Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and to another festive video. Today I will be setting up some Christmas spreads in my bullet journal and I've got my cup of tea with me and I'm ready for some relaxed holiday planning. I want my Christmas spreads to match my overall December theme. By the way, if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link that for you above and in the description below. Definitely check that out. I used real wrapping paper to create these little gift boxes and I'll be using that same technique for all my Christmas spreads. The first spread you can see me doing here is a gift tracker. I always do gift trackers in my bullet journal every year for Christmas just to keep track of everything and all the gifts I'm getting for different people in my family and for friends. I'm decorating that with a bunch of my wrapping paper boxes at the top and also lettering gift tracker at the top. And then I'm just doing a simple chart and in that I will track what person I'm getting what gift for, what the price is, if I've bought it yet and if I've wrapped it yet. It's a very simple spread but it's very very useful if you're getting lots of gifts. The layout of this next spread that I'm doing is almost exactly the same as the gift tracker, except this time I am tracking cards and not gifts. I always make handmade cards each year for Christmas that I send to family and friends and just so I know that I'm not sending the same motif twice to the same person, which would be kind of embarrassing, I keep track of which person gets which motif on their cards every year. Uh, so actually when I planned this year's cards, I went back to my previous two years of bullet journaling and looked at this little chart to see which person could get which card this year. So this is very, very useful and essential for me for my Christmas planning. By the way, if you want to make your holiday cards yourself this year as well, I will be posting my card making video next week. It's already filmed and almost fully edited and I'm very happy with how the cards came out this year. So I'm very excited to show you next week. Next up I have two more fun spreads which aren't as essential as the other two spreads I've shown you so far but I still like to have them in my Christmas spreads. The first is a Christmas outfit planner which I think can be useful if you're traveling home to your parents or something for the holidays and you need to plan ahead what you're going to wear so you can pack everything correctly but also if you have different occasions, different Christmas parties coming up that you want to wear different things for. As I said, it's not the most essential spread, but I like to use it and I like to plan ahead what I'm going to wear on the holidays. The spread next to it is also pretty much just for fun. It's just a almost blank space for me to write down what gifts I got for Christmas and who I got them from, because sometimes I feel like I remember that I got something for Christmas but not exactly who gave it to me. So I just like to jot that down in my bullet journal so I won't forget. And now for the final spread in this setup, it's just a simple Christmas bucket list where I can write down all the things I want to do for the holidays like baking Christmas cookies, decorating my tree, decorating my flat, watching Christmas movies and for example one tradition that I have with my parents and now my boyfriend is we watch The Lord of the Rings in the extended version every year around Christmas. It's my favorite tradition so that's of course going on the list as well. If you're still watching at this point, head down to the comments and tell me your favorite Christmas tradition. To decorate this bucket list spread, I added my wrapping paper parcels in the middle again, some round ones this time as well, and then added lots of gift tags above and below. And in those gift tags, I will be writing my bucket list 
items and when I have successfully done one of those items I will outline the gift tags in red. Now for a final look at all the Christmas spreads. If you like them and you like this video, please be so kind to leave a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And of course let me know if you make one of these. Other than that, I hope to see you back on the channel for my next video where I will be making my Christmas cards. And in the meantime, you can check out all my Christmas content on Instagram. Alright, enough self-promotion for one video. I hope you'll be back next time. Have a happy holiday season. Bye!